The number of elderly people being rushed to A and E from care homes has risen 62% since the Tories took power. In 2010-11, the number of emergency admissions from care homes was 17,539 and by 2016-17 it was 28,471. Health Minister Philip Dunn revealed the official NHS data in a written parliamentary answer. Shadow Social Care Minister Barbara Keeley said, Without the right care and support, many elderly people are reaching crisis point and ending up in hospital. These shocking figures will alarm families with older relatives who need residential care. Harsh cuts by the Tory government to local authority budgets are hitting adult social care budgets and care quality. She also cited Care Quality Commission figures suggesting nearly a quarter of homes need improvement. She added, the government are refusing to provide the resources necessary to support vulnerable older people. It's time that the Tories took action to close the funding gap for social care instead of trying to kick the issue into the long grass. Nuffield Trust Chief Executive Nigel Edwards said it was clear that more investment was needed. He said, while we would expect care home residents to need more health care than the rest of us, the rise in emergency admissions is worrying. It suggests we may not be equipping care home staff well enough to deal with things like falls and infections that can be managed outside of hospital. As well as being distressing for care home residents and staff, high numbers of unplanned admissions cause extra pressure on hospitals which are already full to bursting. The Health Foundation's Tim Gardner warned that unplanned admissions to casualty units is resulting in thousands of care home residents suffering unnecessary distress and called for longer-term solutions. The government insisted it was committed to tackling the challenges of Britain's aging population. A Department of Health spokesperson said, these figures account for only half a percent of all emergency admissions in 2016-17. We know the health service is under pressure due to our aging population and we're committed to tackling the challenges it brings. That's why NHS vanguards are leading the development of better care in care homes and the NHS's five-year forward view is delivering improvements for patients in priority areas including access to GPs.